on YouTube, it's me again. Um, started making a new press and using something rather unconventional, cardboard. Yes, I said cardboard. No one usually thinks just cardboard as a, as a uh, material for building a longboard press, but we had quite a lot of it at work. We go through a lot of it, and it's, it's usually all 32 to 44 pound per inch edge cross strength. So what I decided to do, since we're just throwing it out anyway, was make myself a template in, in CAD for positive and a negative half of the press. It, I basically forced this to be 0.6 inches of concave at 9 inches wide and 0.72 inches of concave uh, at 9.5 inches wide. And then after I factored in, of course, the a 9 ply thickness of the board. So made a template, split it in half so I fit it on harder cardboard, harder cardstock paper. Cut it, cut a couple out because these got pretty ratty but tracing. And then you take your cardboard after you cut it down and get all the tape off. It's very important to get all the tape off. And you make a positive and a negative of your mold. So it's the, uh, the bottom piece and this is your top piece. And then they fit together like such. And that gives you your a slice of your press. The only drawback of this is it's not very thick. So in order for me to get about a 26 inch long standing platform for a longboard out of this, I need about 160 pieces per side. So it's 160 bottoms and 160 tops. So this is a good method if you don't have a lot of money, you have a lot of cardboard, and you have some time and a friend that'll help you. It's not that expensive. Just buy a gallon of Type On 3 at Lowe's, some, some foam brushes and some, and some razor blades, and make sure that you have the um, waffles facing, that when you're looking at the edge of your template, you can see the waffles. You want to go, you want to have the um, waffling between the walls and the cardboard. So it's rippling this way, and then you're looking down through the waffles from the top, or else it won't be strong enough. But basically, since I make furniture out of this, I figured why not I'll try and make it a longboard out of it, a longboard press out of it, rather. So this is a section of it. This is about six inches of the press. It's the um, bottom and your top. It's absolutely pretty strong. Uh, I do about use spring clamps and do about like five inches at a time. Just glue every other layer with uh, Type Bond three. Put some two by four on either side and drop your spring clamps on and give it pressure. Now it's very important though when to glue all of one side first. Like I'm gluing. Make sure I glue, you glue all the bottom first, and then drop all your top pieces in. That way you know you get a tight fit. So in other words, you glue the whole 26 inches of the bottom first, and then each 5 inch section, or each section that you glue of the opposite mold piece, you stack inside of the bottom that way it all lines up and fits snug and then you clamp it while it's in the bottom piece and then you can take it out so everything's lined up right and it gives you a nice snug fit so as you can see we voila